guys and uh, welcome to the channel today we're going to review the master aircraft sg8208 i would like to thank master aircraft south africa for supplying this brush for review please check the link below or shop online for the best prices this is a detailed brush so yeah let's have a look i've been using my slightly higher end detail brushes so i was quite keen to see what this uh, very affordable brush can deliver it's a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and uh, here are some of the parts that are inside a little nozzle wrench a valve for a canister as i said this is a very affordable entry level detailed brush um, so don't expect the highest quality however having said that i think it does a very fine job for the price everything looks nice it's got some nice features which i'll get into a little later it has the trigger adjust screw at the back a mac valve small little cup standard sort of air valve but yeah let's uh, break it down and have a look so here are the basic parts of the airbrush we'll start with the crown cap looks fairly normal for a Chinese brush there's the air cap also looks all right there's the nozzle with the nozzle cap very standard for this type of price range the threads I wouldn't say are of the best quality but they are sufficient here is the needle chuck looks pretty standard excuse all the grease I like to grease all my airbrushes before I use them here's the spring tensioner mechanism and although the threads look a bit odd it is very smooth in use here's the end cap excuse the scratches i have been using this brush for quite a bit and as i said this is a bit stiff but it is smooth here's the needle i did polish this needle so it doesn't come polished in the box so you might want to consider polishing the needle and this is a thin needle of 1.2 millimeter Here's the trigger, very standard little lever design, nothing spectacular. I'm not a big fan of these tiny levers. And here's the airbrush body and chromed to the expectations of a Chinese brush. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, but it does its job. And I do like the small little cup and I think the needle packing screw is a little bit loose on this particular one. And as I said before, this, this uh, trigger adjust is a little, little tight, but it is very smooth. One thing I did enjoy was the very light trigger. I measured it at 120 grams downward pressure. The Mobius O2 was 80 grams and the Iwata H PCS was 220 grams so that gives you an idea of how light this trigger is here's a little spray test and this is the Mac valve as you can hear it's uh, very dosable it's very smooth and that's what's the most important I believe here's a full spray test not that I would use the airbus like this but uh, there we go you can see the spray pattern you can get some coverage and I think this is more the intended purpose, a bit of detail work. Atomization was very good, nothing wrong with it. As I say, the trigger response is very nice, it's uh, very consistent. All depends, of course, how much you thin your paints down. So I did not measure the trigger tension because that is a very personal thing. I only measured the trigger downforce in my very non scientific way, and that was 110 grams. As I said, the Mobius 0.2 was 80 grams, just to give you an idea. And yeah, fine lines are no problem, as with most airbrushes, if that's what you're into. Of course, you need to reduce your paint for this sort of work. You can't expect to be spraying thick primer. And the uh, trigger response is very consistent. As you can see, I can start virtually on the line every time. It 
Shading is no problem. And a nice consistent spray. That little gap, that's just the paint that's a little bit too thick for this sort of work. And uh, can paint some freckles, fine dots, all sorts of little things. Once you get used to the trigger, uh, I've been using other airbrushes for some time, so this just took me a little while just to get the um, feel of the trigger. But as I say, yes, it's um, very predictable. And very consistent. With all that being said, let's have a look at the features that I liked about this airbrush. The first is the small little cup, which is very easy to clean. The second is the trigger, which is almost in the perfect position. Uh, and what I mean by that, it's not quite vertical, but it's uh, pretty close to being vertical down. And uh, what does that mean, being vertical, is uh, that when you push the trigger back, the trigger button doesn't have to go up first before it goes down. I'm going to explain all that in another video. Then I like the adjustable trigger tension from the outside, the Mac valve which is very smooth to use, and of course the nice balance. This uh, airbrush is very well balanced as you can see on this little rotating test. Um, so yeah, that was quite evident in the use. So now we're going to come to the new and controversial scoreboard and um, I'm not going to score this for the most expensive airbrush I'm going to score it in these particular categories value for money, overall features, fit and finish, valve pressure, trigger response and trigger design each category is out of 10 and for me these are the important categories because after all it is what you do with the airbrush that's more important than some gold trim or the price of the airbrush um, so yeah, let's let's see how this works. So value for money, I gave it eight because it is a very affordable airbrush, but delivers a lot for the money. So it scores pretty high in that department. Next we have overall features with the Mac valve, the small cup, the soft valve spring, and the adjustable spring tension from the outside. It scored quite high in that. Fit and finish, I gave this a five because threads aren't the best but it doesn't really matter in the usage of the airbrush. I mean, they were smooth, but they, they could have been a little bit better. But for a Chinese brush of this price, uh, it is what is to be expected. It scored very high in the valve pressure test. It's uh, I measured 110 grams downforce, so that's very good. The trigger response is very consistent. So it got a good score there. And the trigger design, I'm not such a fan of these tiny triggers. So for me, that's a six. For a total of 42. Yeah, let's see where it stands on the very controversial leaderboard. I understand that some lovers of other brands of brushes will not agree with me here, but based on my scoring criteria, I'm scoring the items that are most important to me, not how expensive the brush is or the brand history, although brand history is very important, of course. After sales service is uh, very important. But if, if I'm buying one brush, and that's the only brush I ever buy, then all of that doesn't really matter to me. I want something that works at a good price and not what the internet says I need. So yeah, in, uh, according to my calculations at the moment, this brush scores a joint third with its brother airbrush, the SGA 180, which is a 0.3 millimeter brush. And I understand that um, this, this leaderboard will be a bit controversial for some users, but that is just the way I see it. Guys, thanks so much for watching this. This has been the review of the Master Aircraft SGA208. I would just like to thank Master Aircraft for supplying this brush for this review. And if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.